This is the question of 2013, May, June, paper 1, 2, and the question number is 8. So it says that a ball is released from rest above a horizontal surface and bounces several times. The graph shows how for this ball a quantity y varies with time. So by the uh, nature of the quantity, it looks like uh, uh, it increases, of course, decreases by some amount, again increases to the previous value again decreases by some amount and again increases to the previous value and so on so we have to identify which is the quantity y so let's uh, first go to uh, choice number a because we don't know the quant what is the quantity so when a body falls the value of a the value of a is equal to g and that should be equal to constant so as the uh, graph varies here this cannot be the choice now next is the displacement so when the body falls body uh, falls like this we calculate displacement from the initial position so let us say this is the displacement and the equation for the displacement is s is equal to 1 by 2 a t square because it says that uh, the ball starts from rest so the term u t should be 0 it should be 1 by 2 a t square which means that the graph between s and t graph in s and t should be a parabola should be a parabola so this thing resembles the parabola then when it reaches the ground when it reaches the ground it bounces back it bounces back so when it bounces back let us say it comes here it bounces back from here and reaches here so if it reaches here the displacement should decrease so here it is max displacement and when it reaches here the displacement should have decreased so this is the decrease and when it goes back the displacement will again increase to the previous value which is this and again when it bounces back it should decrease decrease and then increase to the previous value like this so that's why the graph represents the displacement so, so, so choice number b is the correct answer now in uh, choice number C we have got uh, uh, kinetic energy so uh, it, it should follow some sort of a linear relationship because when the ball falls the potential energy decreases and the Ke increases and the P decreases like this so we have got uh, Pe is equal to mgh so it decreases uh, uh, linearly as uh, uh, this height and this means this h is equal to 1 by 2 at square so mg into 1 by 2 at square so according to time pe should uh, decrease decrease uh, somewhat like uh, parabolically p should decrease somewhat parabolically and k should increase somewhat parabolically but uh, after bouncing after bouncing the phenomenon is not uh, same as this so and that's why we can uh, uh, we can uh, disregard it so then velocity of course not because we should increase uh, in a straight line in a straight line so that's it's also not correct so the choice is choice number b here